before I address how I look at this random thing next to me, I'm going to tell you what I'm reading. Because it's a reading vlog. I'm reading three books. I finished one today. Um, but I'll tell you about that after. i tell you about the ones I'm reading right now. Because they're the most important. Because they are on my mind right now. The first book. So proud of myself that I'm reading this. It's Ninth House by Libra Dugo. Earlier on this year, I started reading this book. Got to page 60, put it down. I'm starting it up because it has like dark academia, like Halloween-y vibes. And as you know kids and gents it's halloween time so i'm reading it and i'm currently on page 174 and <laughs> let me tell you i'm not enjoying it forcing myself to read it i put a timer on my phone for 30 minutes where i sit down and i have to read a, this book i'm aiming to read like 50 pages a day of this book <laughs> and if i can get more hallelujah but I did read more yesterday. I read like 74 pages yesterday. Scandalous of me. Just so I'm looking to get to 230 today in this book. So the next book I'm reading is on my Kindle. The next book I'm reading is also along the lines of Halloween y, because that's what I want to read right now. So it's a dark academia gothic school vibes. So I'm reading Gothicana by Runix. It's an adult romance. So the main character is 21 and she's a witch. She goes to this university and she fancies her professor. Then the book I finished today is Talk Bookish to Me. I finished it on audiobook. I'm pretty sure it's a rom-com. Basically the main character goes to her friend's wedding. She meets her ex-boyfriend. Things entail. There is seven people in my house. I can't talk or they'll hear me. Anyways, I give Talk Bookish to Me three stars. I can't believe I'm doing this to her. It was a cute enemies to lovers kind. Hello, it is the next day, like it's four o'clock. And obviously I'm in a new environment. I'm at college right now. I usually leave way later, like six o'clock, but today I decided I kind of want to go to a shopping center, but it turned out to be way too packed. So I actually left within like 20 minutes. I'm refreshed. I'm the only person in the house right now, which is why I'm talking normally, because otherwise I would be whispering like I was yesterday. Progress on books on Gothicana. I think I was on 35% of Gothicana yesterday. I'm on 54% of Gothicana. I'm enjoying it, but I think I don't really want to read any more about romances. I've read so many. Like every single Kindle book I read now is like hardcore romance and I'm not here for it. I'm kind of going away. I mean the creepy vibes because also in this book there's like murder that's happening. Um, or figuring out who it is which is also what's happening in ninth house but obviously i can't i can't show you the book because it's i'm currently using it to balance my phone off so but just imagine ninth house right here by libra dugo i managed to get to 50 pages yesterday so i got to 224 and then today i've read a lot more i've got to page 274 i think which very excited i'm still not enjoying this book a lot i could easily put it down and just leave it down never pick it up again i can appreciate the halloweeny vibes the spooky vibes but otherwise i don't really have any attachment to the characters don't really care about um the murder that's happening there's a new audiobook it's called the sun is also a star by nicola hewn i think that's the author i've listened to two hours and 15 minutes of it and it's only like a seven hour audiobook so i've only five hours left that book is a very old ya contemporary book it's a movie um it's insta love to be fair so let me tell you yesterday why i was whispering tea it was a bit of asmr to be honest so we have some exchange students in our house that are just like fillers because they're trying to find a family so we have a couple in our house and they were walking around the place yesterday right next to my room i couldn't be talking that's awkward i'm embarrassed ashamed i'm going into week six of college now halfway fuck me gonna die Hopefully not. Do you want a room tour of my room? Let's go. Unfortunately, there's a window right there and uh, everyone can see me. And I, I don't know how many times I've been changing my clothes and I forgot and I keep on forgetting that everyone can see every single genitalia I have. <laughs> I obviously I have like more than 20 genitalia. Anyways. So this is my door. This is my lovely sink. I'm actually so gassed we have our sink in our room. It's way more handier. And I have my 
shit there. There's a lot of shit actually covered for more shit. Over here, we have, we have good drugs. Here is a little fun area. These two books I brought today. Shit ton of mass. This, oh fuck, I forgot to bring this home. I was gonna put this in the toilet for our toilet, the student toilet. Um, yeah, we don't have a goddamn lid. We don't have that. So this is my table. Um, I'm still taking stuff out. Also, I brought these because I want to put them on my wall. Because my walls are so bare, but I also don't have blue tack. <laughs> if I use sellotape, I feel like it'll just take off the paint on the wall. Like, I've, I've used sellotape for these. And the wall's definitely going to come off. But it's fine. Now we here we have my bed. It's a great time to be alive. My day has gone from woo to wah. So, I tried to go to the shopping centre. Obviously, it didn't go packed. I went to Little there. Why for those instant noodle packets? Realized that they're only in Tesco's. Went into Little, fully packed, walk around, walked around Little, went suspiciously behind the people at the where, where they're paying so I can get out. Went home. The most pointless driving time I've ever done in my whole life. But here's the ninth house. I actually think I said that I was on page 274 earlier on but I was actually on page 268 but now I'm on page 272 um so I'm gonna try get to page 300 tonight oh, who's excited for a season three of you I'm gassed our besties book club live show our first one is tomorrow which is Monday it's on people we meet on vacation which I get five stars because I fucking loved it I absolutely loved it and our next book is Lake's Edge by don't know the name of the author but if you want to read it for the month of October. Hey, I'm currently on page 326 of Ninth House. And I'm enjoying it a lot more. But I still don't think I vibe with her writing. It doesn't make me excited to read more. There is some parts that are really, really good, really gripping. And then there's other parts where I could put down this book and never pick it up. I've gone over my 50 pages quota so I'm happy about that. My progress on Gothicana. I'm also enjoying it but I'm not enjoying it a lot. Once again I think I'm sick of romances. I think I'm gonna read The Humans by Matt something next on my Kindle. Oh my god you can see me right there. Peace out. Hey, how are we? You know, the sun is doing his things. It's Thursday. I usually don't go home till Friday, but I made an exception because... <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> so I finished Ninth House and Gothicana on Tuesday. Um, I gave Ninth House three stars. Towards the end of the book, it was getting really interesting. Um, but the thing is, I don't... I don't mesh with Lee Barduco's writing. I haven't with her other books. I read a lot of her other books and I haven't loved them. I try to love them, but I just can't, and I think it's because of her writing. I would understand why this won the Goodreads category winner thingy, but I just can't, I can't get into her writing. Uh, so for Gothicana then, I gave it 3.5 stars out of 5. There was just way too much lovey, aggressive possessiveness in it that I'm over right now. Like right now, I don't want to read about that. But the mystery in that book was really interesting and the main character being a witch, but it didn't really center on her being a witch. It just centered on her knowing stuff, like having her having premonitions of what will happen and her having voices in her head, a slightly crazy person. But it was, it was a good book, just too much love in it for me. <laughs> Yesterday, Wednesday, I picked up Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, and I am now on page 154. Um, I'm in chapter 10, we play the game show of death. Thing is, I'm gonna rate these books all five stars, cause I know if I read them when I was younger, I would've loved them. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series. Um, I'm gonna try finish this whole series this year. I might read the last one after this, but I don't know. When I came back today, my mom went to the library this morning, before I came back, and I got Sheets by Brina Thumler, and I know it's like a spooky, Halloweeny. I didn't even know it was a graphic novel, but it's a graphic novel and I just know it's Halloweeny and that's why I got it. Illustrations look really nice. They look really nice. Um, so I'm excited to read this. So I don't know if I'll... Because I'll finish this quite quickly because it's only 340 pages. And I'm actually really gassed I finished Ninth House and Gothicana because they were both 450 pages each. So goddamn, Sarah flying it. I also kind of started The Humans by Matt something. I don't know if I'm going to like this book. I might find it really annoying because the main character um, inhibits a human's body. He's an alien so he's discovering Earth like it's a newborn child. 
so I don't know if I'm gonna find it annoying or funny hopefully funny but right now I'm only 14 pages into it. it's only 300 pages do you know when I said I couldn't go to the shopping center I went in but it was packed I went on Tuesday morning and I went into deals and I got this witch's mug like cauldron thingy it was only 150 I hope you enjoyed I did not have the best week to be honest peace out to the homies